Hello, today, alternative to speakers. Let's take a look at headsets. Thanks to AOC for the opportunity to see all three models at the same time. Today I will show you the wired AOC GH200, the wired USB GH300 and the GH401 wireless gaming headset. All three of these models definitely fall into a budget headset category, with the AOC GH200 currently costing around $39, the GH300 around $42 and the wireless AOC GH401 around $75. From a packaging point of view, all three models are quite similar. Interestingly, the best model even has a smaller packaging box, as they say, you don't need much good. Differences in equipment can be seen. The AOC GH200 comes with a detachable boom microphone and a 3.5mm splitter. The headphones themselves come with a 3.5mm 4-pole cable. The GH300 comes with a detachable boom microphone. That's it, because there are wired USB headphones and there are no other ways of connecting. The richest equipment is the more expensive AOC GH401 model, because this is a wireless headset that can also be used with a 3.5mm cable, for example with your gaming console. The set includes a detachable boom mic, USB Type-C charging cable, 3.5mm 4-pole cable and USB transmitter stick. All three models have a foam filter on the microphone, protecting the mic capsule from a wind blast from your mouth and thus improving the recording quality. All three models have the same large, soft earpads cushions, so whichever model you choose, you get good comfort. Also, all three models are equipped with a metal construction side slide bars, which ensure substantial durability. You'll be able to put them on your grandma's big head without worrying that something might break. Best of all, whatever you're getting the GH200, 300 or 401 models. All three models also use the same soft headband cushion. You can't miss here. Also all models use a flexible mic, not the most obedient, but you can put it on as you like. Also the mic is detachable when you don't need it. These would be the common things in all three headsets. The sound is currently being recorded with the AOC GH200 headset microphone. Now let's talk about each model separately. What's different about them? Because I've already shown the common things. This model is equipped with a remote on the cord, where there is a mic mute and volume control. The headphones themselves are equipped with a 3.5mm 4-pole jack, which can easily be used with laptop, mobile phone, tablets, gaming consoles, and for PC there is a 3.5mm gaming splitter included. It separates onto two 3.5mm jack, the sound from mic, and the manual has more details. We have now switched to the AOC GH300 headset mic. This model, unlike the previous one, has a USB connection type, which means that the headset uses your sound card instead of your computer. You can use this headset with a PC as it is a USB headset that also offers virtual surround sound for better gaming experience. This headset has a remote control on the cord where you can adjust volume, mute mic, mute sound and turn off side LED light on the headset. Another feature of these headphones is that the red LED on the end of the mic lights up when it is muted. This is difficult to see when on top of the phone, only in a darker room. The manual of course has this information in more detail. And now, time for a sweet treat. The AOC GH401 wireless gaming headset with USB transmitter stick. Getting started is easy, plug and play. For this model, the controls are on power the left on. earpiece. Power on and off button, volume control, mic mute and 3.5mm port so the headset can be used with gaming consoles, tablets, PC, laptop and mobile phones. Plus there is a USB Type-C charging port. This model also has a simplified manual with all the important information you need to know when you start using these headphones. We are back to external mic and of course you can hear the difference in microphones. But remember that any good external mic set costs more than these three headphones combined. When driving in a tank, does it matter how well you can sing or is it more important to give your teammates directions of fire? Which all these headsets do very well. If you have a low-end PC setup, then the GH300 with USB connection will be a better choice, as these headphones will use their own sound card instead of your low-end one. What is the TechScrew first impression review? It is more than good. The choice is also simple. 
If you have a very good motherboard with a high quality sound card, then you can take the simplest 3.5mm option and enjoy the gaming life. And of course, if you're the kind of gamer who needs to run to the fridge between recharges, then the wireless GH401 is the way to go. All these models sound very similar, almost identical, except for GH200 model with the 3.5mm cable. The volume depends on the capabilities of your sound card. All three models have a juicy bass and high frequency. This is more for gaming as for music. We personally need a little high frequency EQ down. Do we notice any major drawbacks? No, let alone at this price. Something similar from competitor brands is at least one decent pizza more expensive. Once again, a big thank you to AOC for the opportunity to try all three models, as AOC always associated with monitors, but turns out to be also a very good price per performance gaming headset manufacturer. If you have any questions, suggestions or criticism, feel free to post it below this video. As always, we also appreciate a like and a subscribe, so you can meet again for some good audio stuff videos.